All right, what is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Hit the Books Week 7 NFL live stream. This week, we have our Thursday night football matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New Orleans Saints. Jacksonville is coming into this matchup as a <clears throat> plus one and a half point underdog, plus 106 on the money line, and for the Saints, a minus 124 on the money line. An over under sitting at 39 and a half. Uh, the under being uh, technically not favored at the plus or the minus 105. Um, my play on this one, I'm leaning on the Jaguars, but I like the first half under. I see a 20. Uh, I can get the first half at the un yeah, under 20 at the minus 110, but I do lean on the Jaguars. I like the value on the Jaguars here as an underdog. I'm going to take a gamble and hope that Trevor Lawrence is going to play in this game. Um, I am going to go with the Jaguars in the first half under. I might tease this full game under up. I do it like a couple of plays on this game. I don't have anything officially locked in yet. Uh, that's just kind of how I'm leaning on this one. I don't see the Saints offense getting going too much. And even if they do, I do think the game still goes under if they're able to win the game. Uh, Mackie, I'll hand things off over to you. Jaguars at Saints, Thursday night football. Who do you got? Yeah, I definitely lean on the Saints here. I like your underplay, though. I think there's going to be a lot of defense in this game, not a lot of points. Um, Saints at home on a Thursday night game. I, I like them at home. I think uh, the in the question marks around Trevor Lawrence, even if he does play, not 100%, not going to be able to move like he likes to. Um, they've been putting up a lot of points, but he's been healthy. So um, the Saints team is going to have to find ways to put points on the board. Alvin Kamara going to need a big game. Derek Carr has not looked good at all this season, so I'm not really banking on him to do much. But uh, – I don't think he's going to have to do too much. I think it's going to be more of a low scoring, like I said earlier. Off the first half under, I really do, I like that. Um, I like both unders, to be honest. But uh, Ace, what do you what do you got to think about this one? Yeah, Mackie. I mean, I'm on the complete other side of you. I'm with Huff here. I like the plus 100 for the Jaguars for sure. Um, I think that that Saints defense is going to be a tough one to go against, especially on Thursday night football, short week, like you said. However, Trevor Lawrence has enough weapons around him where even if he's limited, he's been limited in practice the last few days. Love to see that. I think he's going to be good to go. Huff, we'll be safe with our plus 100. Get that in before the line shifts. But um, he has enough weapons around him. Travis Etienne really turning into a top five, top 10 running back in the league. He's been electric ever since he was in London. And um, I think that Jaguars defense is so underrated. They're in the top half of the league, maybe cracking the top 10 with their play. They like re to return uh picks for touchdowns fumbles for touchdowns Derek Carr like you said has looked terrible in my opinion I was so high on the Saints team coming into the season now I'm so low on them I know they have Kamara and Olave and they're going to play well but they're still not going to put points on the board I like the Jaguars to put up over 20 points but I like the Saints to be held under that 20 mark give me the Jaguars plus 100 might throw in some uh, other plays for you as well on the card He's plus 106 is the uh, best line I'm seeing, so even a little bit better. So, yeah, I'm also on the Jaguars. I like that first half under as well. Uh, you might see both of those on my card tomorrow night. We're talking about Trevor Lawrence not being 100%. He might not, not actually even play in this game, so you got to remember that. This line will obviously move a lot if he does I'm, not. Probably I'm thinking like about – I was going to say, I'm truly thinking about locking in this under 20 right now as soon as we get off of this recording because I want to lock in that number. Yeah, that might be a good bet. But this line could definitely move up to like three and a half, maybe even four points without Trevor Lawrence. So, Without Trevor Lawrence, I, I might be rescinding my, my Jaguars money line pick. I definitely love the under without him. Whatever it's at, I love the under. Kind of scares me with that low total. I know it's Thursday Night Football and whatnot, the full game. That's why Huff's going with this trend of the first half. But either way, I feel like you can find good value on Travis Etienne to find the end zone. He's been doing it a lot as of late. He totes the rock a lot. It's a good defense, so it won't be super easy. So you might get better value. Definitely another play I like going into this Thursday night matchup. Love to hear it. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for us. You heard how we're all going. I'm also in the same boat about the Trevor Lawrence. I love that first half under. But, yeah, make sure you stay tuned to the social media tomorrow to know what we're officially going with for Jaguar Saints Thursday night football. Make sure you tune in Sunday morning for the uh, live stream for our five favorite games of the week, as well as our Sunday night football and our mortal lock of the week. So make sure you're tuning in Sunday. If not, we'll see you guys next week for week eight. Get those books.